We want to get to another one of our top stories as we kick off your Tuesday morning. This morning, your safety, of course, in the spotlight in light of a series of incidents over the weekend, and we're working for you to address the growing concerns. The police union says many areas just did not have enough officers to deal with the many calls that they got, especially this past weekend. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol joining us live outside San Diego Police Headquarters with what's now being done. We need more officers. Good morning, Dana Marie. Good morning, Evan and Netta. That's exactly right. We saw a very violent weekend here in San Diego, and we're looking into the root cause of this. Now we saw a shooting in Belmont Park in the gas lamp area, a bar fight leaving one officer in the hospital, as well as the hostage situation in Tierra Santa. All things very concerning for our San Diego residents. That's why the San Diego Police Association are looking for ways to help, but they're just saying they don't have enough officers. We've lost over 180 officers in this fiscal year alone since July, and it's just not sustainable. We, we can't protect the city with this low number of officers on the street. It's tragic, it's dangerous, and we have to turn the tide. Now that was Sergeant Jared Wilson who shared with us that downtown experienced 40% under minimum staffing for the night on Friday. He says even some 911 calls were unanswered Friday night. Many more were still on hold Saturday morning. The reason? 180 officers left this fiscal year alone. He blames a workforce that's fallen well below what's needed in San Diego, impacting the levels of safety they could provide. Police beats are going without officers leaving neighborhoods unpoliced. The San Diego Police Association says while vaccine mandates are the biggest reason for police leaving, better pay and benefits is another main concern. Officers are asking for a 17% increase over the next two or three years. They say they're severely understaffed and overworked. Mayor Todd Gloria and other city leaders responding to this. They say raises are coming for police officers, as well as our firefighters, lifeguards, and other public safety professionals. He's optimistic that negotiations will work out. He also says contract negotiations are underway. So, of course, here at CBSA, we're working for you to make sure we keep tabs on those, as well as the situation in terms of police being understaffed and violence here in San Diego. So CBSA.com is a great resource for you. I'm Dana Marie McNichol live from the San Diego Police Headquarters. I'll send it back to you.